Hi guys, good afternoon to everybody and good afternoon to all my lovely and cherished viewers. Today is a very very sad day in all um, in our lives, uh, most of us, because the topic I'm going to talk about is very very sad. It's a very very sad topic and a lot of you might already know what I'm going to talk about. That is the more reason why my voice is so down and actually I'm very, very sad. Now, we all wake up um, yesterday morning, was it in the afternoon or evening? I don't know the actual time, but I got to know it later um, in the afternoon, um, no, later in the evening. In fact, I saw a YouTuber putting it on um, YouTube, but I didn't take it seriously because such a person, such a high profile person, so people shouldn't joke with such um, sick news. So I, I wanted to be very sure. So I didn't even believe it. But later on, I think it was really this morning that I got to know that it was indeed true that Prophet T.B. Joshua is dead. And it was so, 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 so surprising and, and very, very sad. Um, when, when you talk about uh, T.B. Joshua, T.B. Joshua is a man that is being loved by so many people. Whether you are a Muslim, you are a Christian, what type of person that you are, this is a man that was actually loved by so many people. In fact, I consider this man as the best um, man of God of his generation. This is a very, very powerful man indeed. I personally don't believe in... Um, when these pastors and other people, other so-called um, pastors um, doing miracles here and there, I actually don't believe in those things, but it was actually T.D. Joshua who made me to believe that there are miracles and whatever it is that you believe in God, you are going to, um, whatever he says he will do for you, he will be able to do it for you. That is the reason why actually when I heard the the news I was very 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 sad indeed I've not met TB Joshua personally but I along my um, um, during the process of my life I've come to um, like his channel that is Emmanuel TV where I used to watch every Sunday because I started watching it when I also encountered a lot of problems and I actually didn't believe anybody that can actually help me. So the only thing that I could do was to was to turn to God, was to turn to God. And in fact, I decided that I would watch this man um, TV, um, guest at the TV station. I watch it just to see what is going on. And after watching it for only one day, I became so loved with the, with the program. I became so loved with the with the way he preaches. This is a man who preaches the word of God. He's not, af he's not after anything. He's not after anything. For what I know, other people have different type of um, how they see him. And, and, and I'm not surprised because even Jesus Christ, a lot of people have a uh, different view of Jesus Christ. What I, I see Jesus Christ, somebody is seeing it differently. So we are all human beings. And for that matter, whether he was a, the, he was a very good man, he was a good pastor, or whatever it is, some, somebody out there is having a different opinion about him. And that is life. We, we have to accept people's opinions. But me personally, I believe this was a mark of a good um, pastor. This was a mark of a, 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 well, um, a man of God. This is a man I actually believe that he was actually a man of God because of the work that he, he, he was doing. During the COVID-19, this is a man that was transporting food from one place, even the earliest countries, countries that we sit here and believe that they don't have, um, they, there's no hunger there, everybody is rich at that place. TB Joseph was sending um, emergency uh, funds to this kind of uh, places like Britain, um, most of the European countries, he was sending food to them. And I was watching the program and even in Nigeria, the way he was helping a lot of people in Nigeria was also a plus. This is a true man of God. If all the pastors were doing this, I think we have a better way of helping the needy in society. But what we see about the other pastors that we have around, what they do is that selfish interest, what they do is that they are selfish. 
they want to acquire the money, even eating from the poor and all those kind of things. So what I'm saying is that this particular man was at the top of his this particular man was at the top of his job and I actually admire him a lot. And to get up and hear that T V Joshua is dead at the age of 15, 57 years is very, very, very sad. That was very, very young for a such a person to die. And this simple tells us that after all he was a mother. After all, all the miracles that he was doing, all the wonders that he was doing, all the predictions that he was doing, after everything, at the end of the day he was mother and at the and for that matter, he must face death. This is also to inform human beings that if the good, those who are very good, those who are good in the eyes of a lot of people, are dying, how more the wicked, how more the, the wicked people who are causing um, harm and, and tormenting their enemies, how will you fail? How will you die? If such good people are dying, how more the wicked people? How more the bad people in society? How more the criminals in society? What would they do? It simply means that because of death, we all have to consider the only option is for us to do good. That is how I see it. In life, the only option for you is to do good because you don't know when you are going to die. TV Josia had a check service. From the report that I had, I have watched a lot of videos concerning um, TV Joshua, um, the last service that he did before he died. And he never knew he was going to, even if he knew he was going to die, nobody knew that he was going to die because whether he was sick or not, nothing has been reported yet. But what I believe is that in life, let's prepare for the unexpected. Death is inevitable. It can happen at any time. So if you are in life, the only thing that you can do to be able to face death is to do good. Is to always be good to everybody. There's no time for you to say that, let me do bad and tomorrow I will do good. No. If you, are, if you want to do good, start it today, because you don't know when you are going to die. And T.B. Joshua started that thing. And I strongly believe that this is a man who will go to heaven. If actually, the heaven that we all know, and the requirements that we need to go to heaven, I think he's suited for it. Though you can't trust everybody, but there are people that you strongly believe that they have a chance. And if these people don't have a chance, then I'm sorry. Some people will be, some people don't even need to die, because where they will go, only God knows. So it is very very sad. I have to sympathize as a as a content creator and as a as a, a, a YouTuber. I will use my platform to also sympathize with the family. I, I will send my condolences to the church members, everybody that is involved with the synagogue, check of all nations. I, I strongly believe that our prayers are with them in these trying times, especially the wife and the children and 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 um whatever who whoever is related to him and um, the family. They should accept my condolence as a YouTube as a YouTube creator or as a content creator. I represent my channel and I cannot sit down without talking about this particular man because as a content creator you have to be an influencer and we have to do anything that we believe that can we can use to change um, people mentality and change how people behave. That is what I'm using TV Joshua as an example. He was a he was a really he was a real man of God. He was somebody that I really trust. He was somebody that I believe if there are miracles, then this man is the only person who was performing miracles. And let me put this in clear to you. I believe some believe that T B Joshua is the best man of God of his generation. I don't know whether we we will ever have one like that again. And may his soul rest in perfect peace. This is from the Golden Eye Films TV, and my name once again is Mr. Adams, and may God grant him heaven. Bye-bye.